the age-old question, when do you start racing to get to Formula One? Well, these guys are as young as six. Calman Simon and William Wainwright, along with Arthur Bowers and Logan Hodgetts, Riley Aston Wilkins and Henry Hales from Ben Sliver and Felix Tandy, then Arlo Gamble and Jax Wong. A very competitive mini Bambino field. And then we also have Louis Wilson, Leo Hunt, Christian Doshi and Santo Amico to finish off the field. So the driver's coming through. Oh, looks like we've had a spinner on the formation. That quite common in Bambino. Give them a little bit of grace. Don't forget these guys are only six years old, some of them. It was Ben Sliver just losing the back end of the cart, but fortunately he'll be able to bring it back to the grid. Standing start, of course, in Bambinos because it's uh, generally much safer for a standing start than it is for a rolling start. You've got to remember that these guys are incredibly early in their motor racing journey. Yeah, Benjamin Sliver, it was with the BM plate on his cart that we saw, uh, we saw uh, spinning on that formation lap. I'm not sure, Jake, what the BM... I've not seen a BM plate before. I'm assuming that's going to be maybe a Bambino Masters event that he's taken part in and, and won that plate. So, uh, anyway... He's uh, going off, should be going off P7. Yeah, you certainly only get uh, numbers uh, replaced by letters when it's for a title of some description, so that'll be what it is. The race is underway, and this is, of course, the Bambino final of the UK Kart Series here at Wilton Mill. A couple of drivers spinning in the middle of the field there, and I think one of them was Sliver, the other one was Henry Hales, so they just nudged each other a little bit there through oblivion, and already we've got some battles. As up the inside, Will Rainwright is going to be joined by Logan Hodgetts, and there is a spinner further back, it's Boas, so Arthur Bowers has spun at Christmas. Hopefully he'll be able to get going again. And with the Ayrton Senna tribute lid, that is Kalman Simon trying to break through into second position. But for the moment, it is Wainwright in front of Hodgetts and Kalman Simon as they work their way through the midsection of the lap. Now, the interesting thing is, Jake, Kalman Simon and Logan Hodgetts, both of them were racing at Wilton Mill. Jack Swung there pictured. He's from Hong Kong this weekend, long journey. We want to get a decent result. But Logan Hodgetts and Kalman Simon, that is Kalman Simon pictured, running in P2 currently. They were both pretty much midfield runners, I want to say, really, at Hoot Park last year. That's Logan Hodgetts pictured there in P3. The man out front is William Wainwright. But it's great to see. I know we always talk about seeing the kids improving. And Simon in second, Hodgetts in third. Oh, look at oh. the move from Simon. That yeah, is so brave going into Crook. Yeah, absolutely. I was just going to say second and third. Now he's leading it. So always great to see these kids improving. It really is. And I tell you what, if he's able to make a brave move like that at the age of six, goodness me, what will he do at 16? And it's absolutely terrific conviction from Calvin Simon, threading the eye of the needle there in one of the toughest parts of the circuit to get it right. He can be very happy indeed with that. Also, Santo Amico started at the back has got himself into the top 10 so nice bit of leg work there from Santo to move his way further forward but it's Kalman Simon with an absolute peach of an overtake that is really impressive yeah he was racing last year I think that was his first year so he may be I'm not sure what his age will be this year it could be seven could even be eight I suppose six to eight of the kids here this is the youngest karting class in the UK Bambino class just to pick up on what you were saying earlier, this is not really about winning and losing at this point. This is all about development. It's all about progress. And these guys are having to do it on the job, under the gaze of the microscope of motorsport broadcasting. So it's incredibly tough. And these guys doing it absolutely brilliantly. Simon now in front of Wayne Wright and Hodgetts. Fourth place, Riley Ashton Wilkins with that famous 44. We've got a terrific duel for fifth position. Felix Tandy ahead of Jack Wong now, having made that beautiful move in oblivion. Look at Arlo Gamble and Louis Wilson. They've got momentum off the turn, and that's going to be Gamble through past Jack Wong into B6 at Christmas. Tidy it up on the exit. Cut the line back again, and he's done that nicely. Jack Wong does have a bit of momentum, though, as they come up to the next turn. Beautiful placement from Gamble. He can't go left, can't go right. P6 is his for now. Continue on with the Bambino final in UK Kart Series at Wilton Mill, and that famous Ayrton Senna helmet is in front of a motor race once again, only this time it's Kalman Simon, who is in defensive mode, trying to keep William Wainwright and Logan Hodgetts at bay. Riley Aston Wilkins keeping a very careful, but also very threatening brief there. And then we have the battles further back. Felix Tandy having worked his way into fifth position, doing well. There is the BM plate of Ben Sliver. We've still got a terrific run for the race victory. Simon Wainwright and Hodgetts very evenly matched. And as they go through Crook and Oblivion, up towards Manuel's Bank on the run to Christmas, you can see that Calman Simon trying to sense where Wainwright is going to be. There's enough space, but you're going to have to leave a little bit more. He decides to cut back around. 
give Wayne Wright the position, but on the exit, Carmen Simon has good placement. Wayne Wright shoves him and off onto the grass goes Carmen Simon. He was squeezed there to the grass. Yeah, I don't think the driver in front though did anything wrong, Jake. I think Carmen was trying to force it down the inside, and that was always going to close that gap. So William Wayne Wright has uh, got the lead back. And it is Logan Hodgetts now. Come on, Simon's got to take the positives out of the weekend. He's been super quick this weekend, but it's all gone pear-shaped for him in the final. Yeah, the onus is on the race leader. The race leader can dictate the racing line there, and Wainwright obviously holding his line perfectly, as he's entitled to do. Yeah. So it's one of those moments. Calman Simon, a racing incident there. Neither driver, you can really say, did anything untoward. There is a warning. <laughs> he's getting a warning. Yeah, he got the warning, actually, <laughs> Calman Simon. So they clearly feel we're just a little bit aggressive in trying to get the lead back again maybe but hey he is in a fantastic position still he's got time to make this up again and you watch he's going to try and charge his way back into contention once more he's down in about 10th position he tenth. he's gone through in 10th a little a little bit harsh to get contact warning there jake well you've actually gone off the track as well but yeah i agree william wainwright did absolutely nothing wrong there had the lead Calman looking for a move down the inside. He's dropped two wheels off the track. There's a little bit of, of a dip there as he goes onto the grass, and he's just lost the back end. Yeah, it's racing. You're going to have incidents like that when you're battling for the lead. You see a gap, you go for it. That's what racing drivers are supposed to do. And considering that uh, Calman Simon is wearing an Ayrton Senna helmet, if he doesn't live up to that mantle, then uh, he probably isn't deserving of wearing the helmet. So it's absolutely right from Calman Simon. Yeah, absolutely. You've got to go. For, you've got to go for it. But uh, this time it's not worked out for him. But uh, he's down in tenth place at the end of the last lap. Right, but but he's, he's going to come through the field he's here. He's closing up. He's closing up on this fifth place battle. Look at him. Because you've got Felix Tandy with a bit of a gap in fourth position. But then you've got Gamble, Hunt, Wilson, Wonk, Sliver. That is a very tidy and very close battle. All that takes is a little bit of badinage between them, and all of a sudden, Calman Simon is all over that. Arlo Gamble, Gamble, a famous name in karting, Jake. I wonder if he's uh, a relative of Tom. Yeah, could well be. I mean, Arlo Gamble is probably going to be about the right sort of age if a member of the family is going to start to get... Check this out, this is Sliver. Going to make the bid here on the inside of not just oh, Wilson, brilliant. but also Arlo Gamble. That really took some powerhouse courage. Very nicely done there from Sliver. That puts him from eighth position now up into P6. That's some great racecraft, and he doesn't look like he's done yet either. Now, don't forget, he was a driver that spun off through uh, Oblivion at the start through turn two, Jake, so he was facing the wrong way, and uh, he's come all the way back now into sixth place. It makes you wonder what he would have done had he not had that unfortunate incident at the start of the race. Very true, and now he's putting pressure on Leo Hunt in the black and red machine wide and look Carl and Simon has got Calman Simon's got himself into that run of drivers now in there with Jack Wong so Calman Simon right up into the mix as William Wainwright has now got himself that crucial bit of breathing space on Logan Hodgetts has now got himself a gap and that's what you need just to have that little bit of confidence to carry you further forward but Calman Simon has had a beautiful lap going from 10th position now up to 7th he's got time to get himself into the top five here yeah so that progression from Hooton Park last year, where he was well behind the leading driver on that occasion, just showing how much he's improved, Calman Simon, as has indeed Logan Hodgetts as well. And uh, William Wainwright out front. This is a battle for fourth overall. And this is all about confidence, as we've mentioned before. You need to have you know, your own pace of development. You need to have that level of confidence. Here comes Sliver. Now trying desperately to make his way past Christian Doshi without tripping over him. And has he got ahead of Felix Tandy? He has. So he's up to fourth position now, Sliver. He's having a terrific charge through. And here comes Kalman Simon as well, diving through to the inside of Leo Hunt. That's going to be a squeeze from Felix Tandy. And there's just a little conflagration. Poor Christian Doshi has nowhere to go. He's the meat in the sandwich, unfortunately, as everybody else tries to get out of it. Kalman Simon's actually come out of that in a good position ahead of Felix Tandy. But as a result, the chain reaction means that they all drop back from Ben Sliver. Sliver's now got fourth position, pretty much wrapped up on a silver plate. That is a great performance, by the way, for Ben Sliver after that early off. This is a great comeback drive. Can he get a top three? Can he get a trophy out of this weekend? Look at Louis Wilson. He's now really going after Leo Hunt. And I'm actually quite confident that Henry Hales is going to have a move or two up his sleeve. He's getting quite hungry. Come up to the right hander, through they go. You can use a little bit of the runoff, just not too much of it, otherwise it gets very greasy. Arlo Gamble, unfortunately, down to 11th position as a result of all of that.
Santa Amico and Arthur Bowers still circulating, as is Krishan Doshi, just a little further back. And Felix Tandy still trying to keep close to Kalman Simon, who leads his little duel. And then you've got Leo Hunt in front of Louis Wilson, Henry Hales and Jack Swan. There's your leader, William Wayne Wright, in front of Hodgetts and Riley Aston Wilkins, who's actually setting personal bests at the moment. And that's the reason why. Look at the gap between Wainwright and Hodgetts. That's grown big time. Yeah, that's a problem for Logan Hodgetts. He's got a problem with his cart, Jake. You don't suddenly fall four seconds behind when you were right with the leader. That is a problem. Could be a stuck break, something like that. But he's certainly got a problem mechanically. So Hodgetts there in second. It's interesting, though, if Sliver hadn't have had that early off, and Simon hadn't have gone off, we could be looking at four -way, a four-way battle here for the win. As it is, it's going to be Wayne Wright that takes it. Logan Hodgins now just trying to hold on to second. Yeah, he's definitely got issues with the car. The lap times have dropped big time, and uh, yeah, it's definitely not the same car that he had earlier on, isn't it? But here comes William Wayne Wright. A victory very well deserved. It would have been for anybody in that uh, triumvirate of races earlier on but Will Wainwright is the one who's been able to hold on to it and hold on to the cart the checkered flag comes and he is absolutely jubilant two right fabulous drive Hodgetts is just going to hang on to second place in front of Riley Aston Wilkins who's very happy with a third place finish what about Ben Sliver will he hang on in front of Kalman Simon who is absolutely charging yes he does so Sliver comes home in P4 in front of Kalman Simon and then Felix Tandy good race craft from him in that one to bring it home in sixth position. That's what I love to see though. The drivers coming through, absolutely ecstatic in the top 10. They are just happy to be here, happy to learn and happy to elevate themselves every time they go racing. Wayne Wright in front of Hodgetts and Aston Wilkins, then Sliver and Carmen Simon, Felix Tandy in front of Leo Hunt, Louis Wilson, Arlo Gamble and Jack Swan. Yeah, one more lap and Riley Aston Wilkins would definitely have got in front of Logan Hodgetts. He had all sorts of problems with his carts, but great performances by Ben Sliver and Calvin Simon despite their uh, early offs. But uh, looks good for next time. Look forward to seeing Calvin Simon at our coverage at Hooton Park coming up in the next few.